Hi, my name is Ken Walker. I'm a co-lead on the Eclipse Orion project. Today I'm going to show you what you can do with Orion and a Raspberry Pi. A Raspberry Pi is a 512 megabyte ARM-based CPU board. I've uh, got it hooked up over Ethernet. I don't need a display, I just need the USB power and an SD card. And then I use Orion to do the rest. So I'm going to show live development on a Raspberry Pi using Orion. Let's have a go at it. So let's switch to the terminal and log into the Raspberry Pi. I've already got a shell script ready to go to launch Ryan. And once it's launched, uh, we'll switch back to the browser and click on my handy link to bring it up. So there you have it. Uh, nice logo, courtesy of Anton on my team. So now we have to log into Orion. This is like regular Orion running on Raspberry Pi. We land with a navigator, of course. I've got uh, an existing project that I have. It's just a web app example I've been working on. But other than that, it's regular old Orion. What we want to do is check out something from GitHub that will make this example just a little more interesting. So Mark on our team has been doing a little node hacking. So let's check out one of his projects from GitHub. So we'll copy the URL. Uh, use a handy button on the landing page to allow us to paste in a repository URL to do the first clone. Uh, once it's done, I know that we actually have to check out a specific branch now. So I'm going to open up the specific repository browser on the Orion client. And then we're going to specifically pick a branch to check out. And his handy name for that is Rhinode. So let's check out that branch. So now if we refresh our navigator, there's our Orion client from Mark's GitHub account with the appropriate files. You can see he's got a new file, index.js. Hmm, looks like node code. Let's have a go at the terminal, shall we? So the, we're going to switch to the terminal and look at our server workspace, try to find the directory, because our directory is a little crafty at the moment, for where that node application is living. And we're going to run supervisor, which is a node program that runs a program, but also looks at a directory to make sure that if any changes are made, the server's relaunched. So let's go back to the browser. See that Node's loading all this code from Orion. And there you have it. Here's Mark's beginnings of a Orion node server. So now we're switching back to the original Orion, which is a little strange, but what we're going to do is make a modification just to show that we're live debugging or writing the Orion node client itself. So if we switch back and reload, oh, the port's been changed, so let's change ports on our URL. Wait for the server to load. Sure enough, it comes back up, and there's Orion node running again. Let's make another little change to CSS. I'll use the Orion search facilities to look for the top banner area. Uh, that's the uh, thing we want, so it opens up in the editor. Let's change it for, to red because, hey, we're running on a Raspberry Pi. Why not get some red color? We'll save it, reload the node version, and there's our top banner in red. Now, if you're a regular developer, you probably want to use your git status page to check your changes. Uh, stage them and commit them. But in this case, we're going to look at these changes and go, ah, I don't think those are changes Mark wants in his repository. So what we'll do is we'll just select them, uh, check them out, which means, uh, you know, revert back to the original files. They'll be discarded. Ooh, demo, demo code, timeout exceeded. So I'll just refresh the page and make sure that we're okay. Yeah, we're okay. So I'm going to go back to the Rhino just to make sure. Yep, in fact, we're back to the black banner, so our changes have been undone. Let's log out of Orion 
And here we are back at the landing screen, which is regular old Orion on Raspberry Pi.